Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. So this question belongs to GATE CSC 2008. The question is, okay, the question is, which of the following are not true in a pipelined process? Okay, so they are asking in a pipeline process, which of these are not true they are asking. So whenever these kind type of not are given, they will always be giving in capsule log guys. So please concentrate while reading the question. Okay, yes. Okay, so now let us go through the uh, options. So if we are say they are talking with respect to not with respect to pipelining, right? Okay, so they are saying bypassing can handle all RAW hazards. That is a nothing but read after write hazards can resolve by using pipeline they are saying okay so this is a false right because what are the different type of data hazards with respect to pipelining guys we will have write after read uh, write sorry read after write write after read write after write so these are the three issues right so at that time this is also an issue right yes so this cannot be handled right yes so option a will be the correct answer according to the question but it is internally false right yes okay so what does option b says guys so option b says is register remains okay register register renaming can eliminate all register carry register carried war hazards so if you recall we have already discussed what are the different hazards that can be eliminated using register renaming right so the, i think this is a previous year question so just give me a second i'll be trying to open that paper i think i have discussed it guys because i remember it so previously i have discussed right so just give me a second guys yeah here yeah. So if you recall, so this is a gate 2012 question guys. So they asked in which which handling the register can help. So register renaming. So register renaming will resolve the issues with write after read and write after write guys. Okay. So in both of those cases, it will help. Okay. Yes. Okay. So what exactly option two is saying then? So the second point register renaming can eliminate all register carrying W A R. So read after write can be resolved. They are saying. So if you recall what, what can be done guys with the help of register renaming, write after read can be resolved and write after write can be resolved. So this option says is a true, right? Sorry. True, right? Yes. Okay. Similarly, coming on to option D, option D says that control hazard penalties can be eliminated by dynamic branch prediction. Okay. So what is a control hazard guys? So if we are having an instruction I1, I2, I3 and so on up to I10. So control hazard states that. So if there is an if condition here and if you are jumping to some other instruction by skipping few instructions. So this is a control hazard, right? So how can we eliminate this guys? So I told you while in our course, I clearly told you the only solution for this is a code rearrangement, right? But here they are saying they will predict the thing so basically they are saying that they will predict the correct answer like whether you need a branch whether the branch will occur or not so i think that is not even possible right because every time you, there is no guarantee that we will get the correct answer so with my conclusion i can say that one and three are wrong okay so with that understanding b is the correct answer for this question because they are asking the false statements got it yes so now i hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this question right yes so in the next lecture let us continue the next question thank you thanks for watching like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.